welcome in. Uh, give some more people time to get on. Um, but for the ones that's watching in the replay, hey, good people. All right, so just got this idea. I've been up practicing a little bit already, kind of getting everything going. How you guys doing? Uh, who is that? What's up, man? Coking. All right, so let's let's get some stuff going. something i wanted to do something different all right i'll, I'll rebuild it i'll rebuild y'all here y'all got time right can't nobody go nowhere so y'all got time all right so scratch all of that i can do it all right <clears throat> all right let's make sure we got it
China in the building. What's up, China? Christian. Who else we got watching this morning? Thank you. 
Eliezer, what's up, man? Tyrone. Anybody else I miss? Steven said, um, 
Did you sell the six string warrior just one in? Yeah, man, I actually got rid of it. Yeah, I got rid of the six string warrior. If I can get that cleaner now. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
see that I'm going more for a dominant type sound which just by changing one note and what I was doing Thank you. 
feeling man y'all you you good your family's good from this good old um corona <laughs> that, that stopped everybody dead in their tracks man hopefully you guys are well um yeah i'm just being productive with the time um especially you guys that are off 
off of work from your nine to fives, hopefully you're using this time to be really, really productive and, and get closer to your family, kind of tighten up on some areas you need to tighten up on. And hopefully this has been a time of um, reflection for a lot of you guys. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that's what, you know, everybody is doing at this time. I hope and pray that nobody is actually affected by it. And if you are, I pray a quick recovery for you. Uh, you know, good old good book says all sickness is not in the death. So I hope all is all is well with y'all, man. I just wanted to kind of get on here and share some thoughts this morning. I got caught up, caught <laughs> in that little groove that I had going on. We good, thanks. Schools are closed, so we are homeschooling, man. Yeah, Thomas. Yeah, man. We are. We've been homeschooling. Pretty much, anyways, our kids, um, our kids are homeschooled. It was really nice. I appreciate that, man. Um, so the, the the few thoughts I want to share with you guys, and you can keep commenting. Now I'll, I'll get back to them in a second. Uh, but the few thoughts I want to share with you guys concerning negativity, pushing past negativity, and this I'm not necessarily talking about you know what's going on around the world per se, even though that could be considered something negative and. How do you navigate through that and that whole thing? And this could apply. I mean, it's just, you know, I get on here and I give general information and you just kind of paste it where you need to paste it in your own personal life. But one of the things I kind of ran into is especially I go from the standpoint of being a content creator. A lot of times you can run into brick walls when it comes to trying to make sure that you're giving and that kind of thing when you're dealing with a lot of takers when you yourself are trying to be a giver and you're dealing with a lot of takers and there's nothing wrong with taking information and apply it that's why you know myself just in the context of creating content and doing videos and getting on and sharing and that kind of thing the the problem you kind of can run into is people only want to take and a lot of times people don't even say, you know, thank you, but there are, I'm not talking about that per se, but I'm just using that for an example. But one of the things, um, I appreciate that, uh, who is that? Mikhail, Mikhail, Michael. Uh, but that's, that's one of the things we can um, run into as creators at times and in whatever field that you're in, when you give and give and give, sometimes it seems like the thing that's highlighted the most is the negativity from the people you're trying to help. And so what do you do when you face that opposition? What do you do when you run into, seems like you're getting more pushback than you are advancing? How do you handle the negativity that's coming at you from all sides? Stuff that you didn't ask for, stuff that you didn't sign up for. You know, you, <laughs> you done whatever you did or you started to do whatever you're doing with good intentions, but now you're being bombarded with negativity. So one of the things that I, I'm, I'm learning in this season is that you can't get so caught up into all the negative stuff that you're hearing or seeing or feeling that you lose sight of the positive and you lose sight of the reason why you started to do whatever it is you started to do in the first place. Um, because that can stifle your growth, number one. That can stifle the growth of the people you're trying to reach and whatever you're trying to give them whatever you know the people need to gain from you that can you have to sometimes look back and evaluate there's a there's a passage in my favorite book the bible that talks about meditate on these things things that are good things that are pure things that are honest things that are of good report meaning don't spend your time thinking about and dwelling on negativity because if you do that's going to throw you off you're going to get in a negative state of mind. You're not going to be productive. And the little productivity that you are having, you're going to want to quit because nobody wants to continue in negativity. Nobody wants to continue in negativity in a situation that feels negative. It feels like it's not going anywhere. Nobody wants to continue that. So when you face that opposition, you face that setback, you face those negative situations, you have to be sure that you handle them the right way. And that means putting your focus on higher things. I heard this great, great, great scenario this morning. I was listening to uh, listening to something by uh, by a speaker, and he he gave this scenario of 
the giraffe and how the giraffe <laughs> how the giraffe is born and how it comes out and that kind of thing when the when the giraffe uh is born everybody knows that a giraffe is huge right it's, it's like super tall and his neck can get up to like what 16 feet long or somewhere in that neighborhood it's it's a very huge animal so when the giraffe is born though the giraffe is not that big it's like really you know stubble like it's it's uh i, I can't think of the word i'm looking for but it's it's a very, very short very small animal comes out it's not that huge massive thing that it ends up being but anyway so this giraffe comes out and then it starts to grow after it's born it has to be small enough to get through the birth canal of the mom but once it's born it starts to grow it starts to de de develop and it gets bigger and bigger over time and you, you see it after a while, it turns into this big, massive, huge animal with this long neck that we all know it for. And one of the things uh, that the speaker pointed out, he was saying that, you know, um, the giraffe, he has to eat food that is high up in the trees. So when he goes for that food that's high up in the trees and the negative and distraction to get, yep. So yeah, Anthony. So, but when when this giraffe eats, it has to eat food that's high up in the trees. And the other thing about it, this giraffe has a huge heart. This giraffe has a huge heart that's for pumping the blood all the way up through the neck to get to the brain to get to the head. And the thing about a giraffe, it can't keep his head down for too long. If it keeps his head down too long, it can faint. It can fall out because. Uh, the circulation, the way that the body is, the way that his heart is designed to pump the, the blood up to the neck, if it keeps his head down too long, the circulation will cause it to fall out. And uh, all of that being said, the turtle, on the other hand, is nowhere as huge as the giraffe is. The giraffe is and the turtle doesn't have the same perspective. He doesn't have the same vantage point as a giraffe. Because a giraffe neck is so high, he eats high in the trees. He's always up there where he can see. That's his vantage point. It's very, very high because it's a huge animal. It has a seriously long neck. So it eats high up. It looks at everything. This is a message from uh, Bishop Jakes, by the way. This is not my original something that I came up with. So I am quoting this message that I heard, but I thought it was really, really good and kind of on topic of what I was talking about today. Uh, but this this is uh, this turtle operates on a certain level because that's its vantage point. So if you have people, and I'm gonna compare that turtle to negative people in your life who are always complaining, who always have something negative to say about the things that you do, that's their vantage point. They can't see things from your vantage point. So oftentimes, when that turtle is looking up at that giraffe, it doesn't have the same perspective as that giraffe has. So no matter what that turtle does, it can never see things from the perspective of the giraffe. And for the giraffe to drop its head down to try to see things on the perspective of the turtle, it runs the risk of falling out because it wasn't designed to eat the grass. It wasn't designed to keep its head down to try to pay attention to what the turtle is talking about too long because it would cause the giraffe to fall out and to be dysfunctional pretty much because it wasn't it wasn't designed to keep his head down so you got to let turtles be turtles you got to let the negative people be who they are you can't respond with me creating so much content online it's so funny i get i get good comments a lot of the times but every now and again and, and it's like the bigger you get the bigger your platform is the more the turtles come out <laughs> and I get negative comments from time to time, but people just like they have nothing else better to do and they have to come. My thing is, if you're going to come and gain, I understand people can't purchase everything like the courses and all the stuff that I create on my website. Uh, some people, some of you are even on here this morning that have actually purchased because I've seen your names and the, the purchases. You've actually taken time out to support and purchase some of the things that I create outside of YouTube that helps me to continue to create content. But a lot of times, most of the people that I see that jump on here and have the negative things to say, they don't support I've never seen their name show up. I ain't even seen them show up to buy a 99 cent backing track. So, but they are generally the ones that to tell me things like, you need to create this, you need to do this, you need to, you should have done this, you should have done that. And it's like those people are operating a turtle because number one, they don't know what it takes 
to have the vantage point of a giraffe and be able to see things at a high level because I wasn't always at that level or people that create or people that are doing things that are aiding or helping others and they're operating at a much higher level and their vantage point is different. Some of these negative people don't understand what it took to get there. They don't understand what it takes to stay there on that level, what it takes to continue to give when you face negativity and that kind of thing. So their vantage point is completely different. But if you yourself stop to start trying to acknowledge all the negativity, man, you will run yourself crazy. What's up, Philip? You will run yourself crazy trying to entertain low conversation. You will run yourself crazy. And it, it, the turtle might not even be another person. That turtle might be your inner self that you need to shut up. I'm just being honest. Sometimes our inner thoughts in our head, that inner negativity that we have in our head that tries to sabotage every good thing that we're trying to do, every good thing we're trying to think about, every good thing that we're trying to be to somebody. Think about it. When you have a great idea, who normally talks you out of the idea? It's you. It ain't always the outside person that's the turtle. You the turtle in some scenarios. You're dealing with two mindsets. You're dealing with the mindset of the turtle and you're dealing with the mindset of the giraffe. So the question is, which one are you going to listen to? Which one are you going to listen to? Because there's a constant battle between who you think you are and who you're supposed to be or vice versa. Appreciate you. Keep the godly inspiration both speaking on the streams from the upper Marlboro MD. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate that, man. So it's, it's like you're constantly battling between two worlds. Uh, Philip, appreciate that. <laughs> Randy, yes, sir. You, you're constantly battling between two worlds because you got this one thing that's telling you, you know how you hear something like some of y'all, for instance, this is the best example. Some of y'all, for instance, you're hearing the stuff that I was playing earlier and you sit in your mind saying, man, I could do that. Man, I, I could play what you know, I could play what he's playing. I might not understand all of it, but man, I, I can, I can kind of do that. So you got that part. That's that giraffe mentality that you have in your mind that's telling you, yeah, I can go higher than what it is I'm hearing. And then there's that turtle mindset, man, you can't do that. You know you ain't fast enough. Man, you too old. You too slow. You don't have the right stuff. You don't, you can't even think. It's like that's that turtle mentality that you're fighting when you're trying to be productive. And if it ain't you that's doing it, it's somebody else that's doing it. When you start thinking on the level of that giraffe mindset, meaning thinking higher. I don't know nothing about the giraffe, how it thinks, but I'm just referencing the height difference where the turtle is as opposed to where the giraffe is, the giraffe has to think higher. He has to look over the tree, so his mindset has to be higher than what he is currently seeing. I mean, what he is currently, you know, experiencing. It, the mind has to stay higher. The heart of the giraffe is way down here, though, with his chest. He has a big heart. He cares. He's trying to give. But that heart has to continue to pump. That heart has to be super huge, though, to pump that blood all the way up to his mind and his vision, what he can see. Because your heart might be closer to the level of where the turtle is. And when your heart is closer to the level of where that turtle is, that means the things that that turtle says, it affects your heart. Because it's a little bit more closer to the level of where that turtle is, as opposed to that heart is a, a good distance away from the mind. So when that mind is up here thinking these thoughts, but you're getting hit by the conversation, the inner conversation of that turtle mentality, it's affecting your heart. The question is, which one are you going to listen to? There's a scripture also in the Bible that says, the heart is wickedly deceitful. <laughs> so your own heart can trick you, your own heart can fool you. Your own heart, because it's so close to that mindset of a turtle, because it's so low, it can fool you into believing what the turtle says, because we're full of doubt. We're full of fear. We're not always full of faith. We're full of what we can see in terms of like on the level of the turtle. Instead of looking at the vision that I'm like, dude, we have no limits on our mind, they tell you the sky is the limit to, to what you can have. It's a quote from an old song. The sky is the limit to what you can think, to what you can become. Uh, and like, why would I limit myself if the sky is the limit to what I can think, what I can have, what I can become? Why would I limit myself to what I currently see? That means 
anything that I see right now is temporary. Whether it's good or bad, it's temporary. So why stop at where I'm at? I have to keep pushing. I have to push past the negativity of where it is I'm at. I have to push past my own hype. Hype. If I think I've gotten to a certain place that I don't need to practice, you're either growing, like you're either going up or you're going down. Ain't, people say stagnant. Stagnant is a myth. Stagnant is a myth. You put air in a balloon. That balloon is either going up or it's going down. You're not going to put air in a balloon and it's just going to sit like right here. <laughs> it's not. You're going to put air in that balloon. Whether you put helium or you blow it up with your mouth, what's going to happen? That balloon is going to either go up or it's going to come down to the ground. It's not going to, it's not going to stay stagnant. And that balloon will stop at the ceiling of what it's allowed to touch. When you put helium in that balloon, it will stop at the ceiling of wherever it is. But if you take the ceiling away, we all know we done bought the Valentine's gifts for our, you know, significant other. And what happened? You get ready to get in the car and one of them go to a balloon, slip off. And what did that guy do? Go right on up in the sky because the sky is the limit and when that balloon has free range to go as far as it needs to go and there is no ceiling in the car it's not gonna fly away because there's a roof in the car in this in this house or in this studio it's not gonna go anywhere because there's a ceiling in here it's something that's gonna stop it but as soon as I remove that ceiling and take that limitation away it's gonna go it's going it's gonna go as high as it can go until the helium starts to you know go away from the balloon and once that helium starts to leave once that idea starts to leave that's when it starts going back down but as long as i can maintain fresh ideas as long as i take away the ceiling of my thoughts it's no limit to what i can do and if i can practice if i can get the right material under my, my hands if i can look up the right stuff look up the right things to study I, it's no question about it i can grow i'm a living witness of it I was in my 20s when I started making leaps and bounds in terms of my uh, growing on this instrument. And it's because I got so hungry for being better. And I'm like, I wouldn't accept anything less than like growing. Like it, it wasn't working for me where I was as a player. I'm like, this is, I don't, I, I got to be better than this. So I started listening to people who were a lot better than me, people who were like way out of my range and way out of my league. And I'm listening to these people, number one, mind blown, like people like Hadrian Farad, for instance, uh, you know, li listening to like a Victor Wooden or a Marcus Miller or whoever else, whoever would be those guys that inspire you. Listening to these people and I'm sitting there like part of my mind, a very small part of my mind saying, I can do that. I believe I can do it. I can hear myself doing that. But the bigger part of my mind, that turtle mentality is saying, eh, I don't know. Hey, I might as well let them have that because that's way out of my league. And you're going to respond to the thing that talks the most. You're going to respond to the thing, number one, the thing that talks the most, and number two, the thing that talks the loudest. That's who you're going to respond to. And oftentimes, negativity is much louder than positive thought. Negativity, uh, that, that kind of thinking is a lot louder. So who say... Uh, I'm going to move this again. You can have 10 people who say you can do something and it only takes that one person to say you can't and you start to believe that one over the 10. You know what I'm saying? You start to believe that one over the 10 and what happens? You start listening to that one and responding accordingly to that one person that said you can't. And so you start responding in accordance to that. And it's like that, that, doesn't, that doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. Why would you listen to the one when you have 10 that say you can? It's because that negativity in a lot of, sen in a lot of instances has the loudest voice. So which one are you going to choose to listen to? So I just, I just encourage you guys to start with your gift. Start thinking higher of your abilities. Start thinking higher of your potential because you have unlimited potential. And as soon as you take the, the glass ceiling away or the, the roof, as soon as you take it away, you're gonna see that balloon fly. But as long as you maintain that limitation, it's gonna force you to go down because you're either going up or you're going down. So anyway, guys, this is just a, a few things I wanted to share uh, this morning with you guys to hopefully add some value to you. And even with, 
what's going on. I'm, I'm not ignorant to what's going on in the world concerning this uh, virus, but you have to be careful in this season what you decide to ingest, what you decide to take in. When you get on social media, that's all you're hearing. Coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. Every two posts, it's about coronavirus. You know what I'm saying? It's about, you're welcome, man. It's about coronavirus. That's all we're hearing about. It's the media, uh, as far as the news, kind of perpetuating that fear, what's going to happen, and this happened, and that happened, and all that kind of stuff. And then you got your peers and your people, your social media friends and followers that are saying the same thing over and over, people you're following. That's all everybody is talking about. And do you think that's creating a turtle mentality, or is it creating a giraffe mentality? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up, Brazil? Um, John Bass. What, which one are you going to listen to? Because the reality of it, we all know what's going on. How many times do we have to hear the same thing? How many videos do we have to watch people fighting over tissue? Like the tissue memes and all that nonsense. It's just constantly reminding us to be afraid, be fearful, be skeptical. Don't have any hope in anything. Like, nah, that's not how we operate. That's not how we think. That's not how we believe. And if you operate on the level of your fear, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get the thing you fear the most. That's what you're going to draw to you. The thing you fear the most, that's what you're going to draw to you. So I don't I don't spend time. I'm informed, but I don't spend time pumping my system with negativity concerning what's going on. I know what's going on. I don't need to be reminded of it every every five, every 10 minutes. So I'm not going to keep looking. It's the same for me. It's the same thing. When it comes to storms that are near my house, I noticed this when we have uh, uh, when we have when we have storms like tornadoes and all that kind of stuff that's that's near my property. You know, you can check it out on your because I, I cut my man, I cut my cable off. I don't even watch that. I got tired of so much negativity and stuff. I cut all that stuff off. But still, I see it on social media and you can get the app update on your phone. So if I need to know what's going on in the weather, I'm going to see it because somebody's going to post it somewhere or I can just simply open up my app and just find out what's going on. But my thing is, I don't want to be constantly bombarded with negativity. I don't want you to tell me how I should think concerning these things. You need to panic. You need to take shelter. You need to do this. You need to do that. It's like if your hope is built on what man says. You're already doomed. If your hope is built on anything that a man says, you are already doomed because a man doesn't know. He doesn't have the answer. If a, what the man was saying was completely valid, coronavirus would have been over with a month ago because they would have already had a cure for it. They would have already had an answer for something. So if your hope is built on something other than Jesus, I'm sorry. You, It's like... What are you going to do? And I didn't mean to go all gospel with y'all, but it is what it is. Because I didn't start panicking when I heard about this coronavirus. To me, it's no different from a tornado watch. It's no different from any other thing that I have to be mindful of and I have to be cautious of. You should have been washing your hands anyway. I see people that walk in. and I, I go to these restaurants with my, you know, I take my, my son to the bathroom. Or I just go myself. And I see these people go to the bathroom and they use it and, and just leave right out of the door. Like, you knew you were supposed to wash your hands before we had a scare of a coronavirus. You knew you were supposed to keep yourself clean. You need a virus to remind you to keep good hygiene. I mean, just. <laughs> so it's it's like little stuff. Happen. No. No. Be mindful of what's going on. Appreciate that, man. Be mindful of what's going on, but don't let that distract you from thinking higher. Be mindful of what's going on, but don't let that distract you from going on, uh, going higher. The, this coronavirus has, you know, isolated a few people that has stopped a few people from going to work. So now you have an opportunity. What what if this what if this is God's way of saying, all right, now I got your attention. So, you know, that idea I've been talking to you about for like the last five years, you got time now to work on it. Let's go. What if that's his way 
Because he know you won't stop. You won't stop and acknowledge the thing that's in your mind because you don't ever have the time. I got to do this. I, I got to do that. I got to drop the kids off at school. And now you don't have to drop the kids off at school. Most of y'all, you know, it's like, well, I have to go to work. You don't have to go to work now. Most of you. So that idea that you've been putting on the shelf, all the stuff you've been putting out of putting off, you potentially have about eight weeks to get it done. What's going on, uh, Rinsass? I think that's how you say it. You potentially have about eight weeks to get it done. I don't think it's going to last that long, me personally. I don't believe it's going to last that long, but hey, I don't know everything. But potentially, you have about eight weeks to really dig in and really get something done, to really get something going, to really get something off the ground. To really, it's, Eight weeks is plenty enough time to get almost anything done. It's more than enough time. So at this point, most of us, are spending time on social media just scrolling. How about we prioritize this time? One way you combat negativity is you don't give it any room. So if I fill my schedule up with things that are positive, things that are true, things that have good report, things that are honest, I don't have time for negativity. If you literally take out your phone, take out your notes or whatever the case may be, or if you have a, you know, like a, a little planner or something like that, like Write out your day. Plan what your day is going to look like. This is what I'm going to be doing at 6 a.m. This is what I'm going to be doing at, at 7 a.m. and so on. Plan your day out so you don't give a lot of room for negativity. You're going to face setback. You're going to face opposition. But how are you planning to respond to it? When these cats are training, I, I'm, I have never been to the military but I have um, cousins and, you know, we all know people who are, you know, in the services or whatever. But um, I never thought that our death would also be made in China. That's uh, I'm not going to co-sign on that. That's that's not that's not positive. That's that's not cool. Let's not do that. Made me, train of, <laughs> made me lose my train of thought. Let's let's not do that. That that, that doesn't help. It. That's another thing. Let's. Be, be, let's be mindful of what we say. Let's be mindful of how we treat one another and the things, the little careless things. This kind of goes back to what I'm talking. It goes back to what I'm talking about in the level of the thinking that we have. Now, if you had to be honest with yourself, what level of thinking is that? Is that the level of a turtle or is that the level of a giraffe in terms of the height level of where you think it? Because if you you attract what you talk about. You attract what you think about. So if you're looking forward to death, you keep talking about it. It's right around. It's right around the corner. That's just. It is what it is. So you have to be careful of the things we say. We have to be careful not to be insensitive to other people, because we don't have all the answers. It's important that we, in this time, we learn to love one another, to treat one another right, because if it came down to it. And it was a brother over here from another country that potentially has everything you need to help you. You don't care who it is. You want that help. So you have to be mindful and we have to be very careful when we say things and very careful when we do things. Because I would hate to be responsible for somebody doing harm to someone else or doing harm to themselves based on something that I said and I just carelessly meant it, you know, as a joke or whatever the case may be. I would feel really, really terrible if somebody did something bad and we traced the root of it and it came from something that I did or something that I said when I had the opportunity to do something right, when I had the op opportunity to help, when I had the opportunity to show love, when I had the opportunity to give a positive word or positive reinforcement to this person that, man, you matter, your life matters, family matters. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's, it's about, you know, and I don't mean a harm in like with what I'm saying, but I'm, I'm just, we, we have to, we have to be mindful. We have to be mindful of what we're doing, what we're saying. Life is beyond an instrument because this is one of the first instruments that you have, your mouth. For those who can speak, you have your mouth. That's the first instrument. How do you use it? If you can't make good music with your mouth, I don't want to hear what you can play. If what your mouth says is not good, it's it's not wholesome. It's not clean. I don't. You know, I don't. 
you know, I don't want to hear it. So <laughs> do your thing, Thomas. Appreciate you for tuning in. So anyway, I didn't mean to get off on a rant with that. Um, what's the question? What's the question? So anyway, let's let's be mindful of uh, let's just be mindful of this stuff. Think on the level that you want to be on. Think higher than where you are. If you're facing some setbacks right now, I'm facing some setbacks right now. But I choose to think higher than where I am because not because I'm arrogant, not because I'm proud, not because I'm puffed up, because I refuse to stay where I am. I know where I am is temporary. The coronavirus is temporary, so I refuse to make a permanent decision in a temporary place based on fear. So you got to be careful of what you listen to. You got to be careful of what you think about, what you entertain, because all of it, it, it matters. It matters at the end of the day. So, yeah, I just want to say this. I'm going to give a few more minutes for uh, my guy that wants to ask a question. Uh, I think I got all the comments. Appreciate that, Tyrone. Uh, yeah, I think I got all the questions. I think I responded to. So, Vic Jackson says, okay. I'm not going to fight with the connected situation today. So, anyway, Vic, I hear what you're saying. We need accurate information. I agree to know how to handle this situation. We definitely need that, and we definitely need to be able to trust the people who are giving us this information. Um, but all I'm saying at the end of the day is don't don't completely fill yourself with negative information. People give accurate information, but the thing about the media, what I don't like, is they also hand you a little bit of fear, too, to go with that information. They hand you a little bit of doubt. They, they pump you with everything that's bad. And it almost puts you in a hopeless situation. So as much as I want accurate information, I don't want you to tell me how to think. Just give me the information. Don't don't pump me with other stuff to try to persuade me that I need to be living in fear of what's going on. I get it. It's a serious situation. But don't don't try to pump me with fear. So that's that's the only thing I'm saying. Decide how you're going to handle the negative negative stuff. This is a negative. This could be a very negative situation. But how could you use this to your benefit to move forward as opposed to shrink back and as opposed to become very cynical, become very negative, saying stuff that's, you know, that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? So I, I agree with you, Vic. We definitely need we definitely need the right information because I want to know. I want to know how to protect my family. I want to know what not to do. But at the same time, don't feed me fear. Don't feed me fear. So, yeah, I'm going to jump off. Um, I appreciate you guys for joining in this morning. And I hope this was helpful to somebody. If it was, be sure to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. Also, um, I got a course, y'all, I, I forgot to mention. I talked about it in other lives. Be productive and multiply. And what I do in this course, many of you guys know over the last few years, you know, I created JermaineMorgan.net. Not only that, I've been doing music production for a while, but you know, my uh, business is an online business, JermaineMorgan.net, where I do my courses and all of that kind of stuff. And by doing that, by taking that idea seriously, a few years ago, I've been able to, um, you know, gain or make thousands of dollars from <laughs> just that one idea from multiple courses and all these different things. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, try, I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to, uh, I'm gonna go back and ask a few of these. But yeah, I, I've been able to make thousands of dollars from just creating courses and doing the stuff that I love to do and helping. Yeah, it started, started freezing near the end. your own craft, hone your own skills, things you already do that you could be possibly making money off of that you don't even realize. That's basically all, all I did is just started to monetize the things that I was already doing, the things I was already good at. And uh, thousands and thousands of dollars later, you know, here here we are. All right. Um, when songs, when a song changes from, say, B minor to... Uh, 
minor seven to B minor minor seven, uh, B minor major. So I don't understand what you're saying. I'm probably reading it wrong. Um, what do you do to create a feel of chord of change? I know I'm not gonna be able to answer that question today. I don't fully understand what you're asking me there, buddy. Sorry about that. Uh, Anthony Love, my phone froze on me. Did you answer about what name of the loop you use? Uh, no, I didn't talk about that today. I use a um, Digitech Jamman Stereo. That's the loop that I use, a Digitech Jamman Stereo. It's an old one. I've been at that, man, about eight, nine years. But it's a good one. I love it. Um, Victor Wooten's mother used to tell him that the world doesn't need another good bassist, but the world does need a good person. So a beautiful human who happens to play bass. Absolutely. K. Oliver. Absolutely, man. I think I said that a few few weeks ago. But yeah, that's that's definitely I like that quote. Um, oh, yeah. And thanks for that lick you posted on Instagram. <laughs> Working on it. Yeah, Vic. So I, I'm, I'm going to keep content going. Thank you for mentioning it. I always forget on YouTube to mention something about my IG. Uh, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's jmorganbase on Instagram. Come on over there and, and follow. You're welcome. jmorganbase. No underscores or nothing like that. J-M-O. Yeah, y'all know how to spell it. jmorganbase. Follow me on Instagram. Anyway, guys, I'm jumping off. Thank y'all for tuning in with me this morning. We're going to try to get some other things done. Stay safe out there. Stay informed. Don't stay negative. All right? Y'all take care. Have a blessed day. Peace.